In this video, we are going to put the new M1 Mac, the relatively new M1 Mac, with spaces on Xcode. I'm going to build a blank project, then I'm going to build a short project of my own, just to give you a sense of how long it takes to build those projects on this Mac. Um, as you can see, this is an 8 GB MacBook Air, not the Pro, MacBook Air, and um, it has the M1 chip. So let's get into it. I'm going to run Xcode now. This is from a cold start. It is not running already. Click and... There it is. And what I'm gonna do is create a blank, simple uh, project. And the reason I'm doing this is because you can compare to whatever machine you have, you can do the same thing and sort of compare the speeds. So I'll just go ahead, new project. We'll just use the standard app, um, call it test. It's a Swift UI app. Um, save it on the desktop, no problem, create. And it is done. So that's pretty snappy. Now, if I were to turn on the automatic preview window, uh, it takes a, it, it's already built, by the way, because the build has succeeded, but the preview window does take a little time. There you go, it's, it's up now. And uh, now that it is up, um, if, because of the hot load feature of Xcode, uh, you know, you can just do this, and it, it, as you can see, the preview sort of uh, in the canvas updates almost instantaneously. So that's on the preview canvas, but if I were to run it on the simulator, let's try running it on the uh, 12 Pro Max, and uh, just run it. Now, the simulator is gonna come up now. There we go, there's the simulator coming up. Again, it's coming up for the first time from a cold start, and there it is. The application is now just coming up, and it does take a little bit of time the first time, but as I'll show you, once it's, uh, it's it's loaded up for the first time, then it's much faster the second time around. So there we go. So now you have it. Now if I were to stop it and say, you know, hello world, bite me, and run it again, there is the simulator, and bite me, much faster, okay. So that's just a dummy project. And again, it's a standard project, so you can run it on your own machine, do the comparisons. But now let's close this uh, project. And instead, I'm gonna, right, so stop tasks. And so, okay, let's close this as well. And now I will just open a project of my own. It's a simple game that I built with uh, Sprite Kit. There we go. It's not a super long uh, project. You know, the, the, the main file is the game file, and it is just to give you a sense of things uh about 1700 lines of code then there are some support files but they're fairly short so again not a super big one but definitely bigger than the uh, than the built-in one uh let's just straight away build it on the let's just build it on the 12 pro this time and uh, oh before i do that let me just clean it up so that we are sure that this is doing a full compile so it's cleaned up the build folder and now i just hit play it's building, 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 and it is done. It is now bringing up the simulator. There we are. So I picked a new simulator this time, the 12 Pro. And so again, the first time the simulator has to load, it takes a little bit of time to do that, done. Now the game is coming up. And there it is, that's the splash screen. And that's the game. So we are now running it on the simulator. If I actually start run it as you can see the game is running just fine and and i have to say the simulator runs very nicely indeed i mean it's just there's no jankiness at all there's no jerkiness it's almost like playing it natively uh, as one would expect because of course it is an arm processor so that's just a quick test of xcode on the new m1 mac i have been using it actually for a while now for like uh, just over a couple of months and my experience has been that even for you know bigger projects everything that at least i have thrown at it it works extremely well and uh, I'm extremely happy with it. Thank you.